everybody. I'm at work right now and there are actually some kids in the neighbor's backyard who are screaming so you're probably going to hear them from time to time. And I'm a little embarrassed to even be making this update because it's been so long since I've put up a video, right? I took a very long hiatus. I've been working a lot, anywhere from 40 to 50 hours a week and it's great but it leaves me with very little energy for extra stuff like making stuff for the YouTube. But anyway, it's summer, at least it feels like summer here. It's really, really warm. I think we're in the middle of a heat wave. And I wanted to share a few of my like recent adjustments and these are kind of my summer tips. So I'm making sure that I'm very hydrated, whether it's banana smoothies, water with lemon, things like that, chlorella. I'm just making sure that I'm taking in enough liquids to keep myself hydrated throughout the day. And that's probably something that is very basic. We all know that we need to stay hydrated. I've been using my Supernatural SPF, uh, <laughs> my sunscreen, uh, militantly. Sometimes I skip a few days if I'm in winter, but really during the summer I want to make sure I get it on, and that should be something that's part of your everyday routine all throughout the year. And I don't use something that's bought at, you know, a convenience store. I'm using really good quality zinc oxide, no chemicals kind of sunscreen, especially for your face area. So those are two tips. Another thing is summer is a great time to get outdoors and exercise. You can go hiking, rock climbing, you can just go to the park and practice some yoga or tai chi, you can do pilates, butt exercises, things like that. It's a great time to get healthier. A lot of people like to make these adjustments to their routine in January and they want to make all these New Year's resolutions to get healthy, but they don't quite keep them. So now's the time to re-up on all of those things. Keep your motivation up. You could be dry brushing your skin. You could go ahead and cut out some harsh chemicals, incorporate a lot more raw foods into your diet. It, summer is a really good time. There's a lot of harvest and bounty going on. So hit your farmer's markets and your local co-ops or your healthy grocery food stores and get as much produce as possible in right now. We're talking melons, stone fruit, peaches, plums, nectarines. You've got all of your delicious corns, organic, non-GMO, uh, pineapples, everything that's great is happening right now. And you want to make sure that you don't get too much sun, have a lot of fun, get outside. <laughs> yeah. I will not be getting outside too much, unfortunately. I work Monday through Friday, some weekends, and now I've decided to go back to school. So you may have seen this on homesteading. I'm actually signing up for full-time classes. So I'll be doing night classes, and I will be also doing full-time work during the day. So I know this isn't like an unusual thing for people to do. In fact, people go back to school and they have kids. They have much more hectic lifestyle and commitments than I do, but it's going to feel like a lot, I think. Maybe I can take a math class online to kind of lighten the load, but yeah, I'm doing a bunch of horticulture, so plant ID propagation, there is some cool pruning and grafting things on the weekend to look into, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome. I feel like I know a lot. But there's always room for learning and networking and just getting motivated. I remember taking a nature study conservation class when I was in school a few years ago, and I loved it. Oh my god, I would just go up to the teacher on every field trip and I would be right next to him going, Oh, well, you know you have this like Fibonacci, uh, Fibonacci sequence of numbering for petals and pine cones and whatnot, you know, like zero and then one plus two is three, three plus two is five, five plus three is eight, and so on and so on. And I said, these petals don't seem to be following this on the dogwood tree. There are only four petals. That seems really weird to me. And he was like, oh, Laura, that's because they're not actually petals. These are like the outermost, um, like faux petals. It's actually leaves. And you know, I'm so glad you noticed. And then he showed me that on the inside were all the little flowers and they're very small. And I would hang next to him and ask him about the lupin that we had just seen near the coast is like a different color than the one that we had seen on the trail a week before and he was talking about pollinators and it was just like extreme nerding out and it was super fun and I love it so I'd like to get into something like that I'd like to take more trips maybe drive to Yosemite get out into the woods oh, yeah I have high hopes for the summer really I do even though I'll be busy it's gonna motivate me to just work harder to make time for myself and to be in nature and 
some other things that I've been working on. I've been doing my butt exercises, a lot of leg lifts and squats. I have been doing arm exercises, a lot of push-ups when I go to the park, if there aren't too many people there and I'm feeling <laughs> super no shame, I will just go up to the park equipment while my kid is playing and I will do pull-ups and push-ups and I'm trying to work on getting my arms back into shape. I rode in high school, so I'm trying to get back up into the nice athletic athleticism. And some other things you can do are just push-ups against a doorway. You know, you take your... Um, your door and you put your hands on either side and you go in an angle so you don't have to put all of your weight but it's good just to do like maybe 15 reps and get in like maybe three to five cycles however many you're feeling and yeah so let's try to all get healthier let's eat more garden food let's move and be active more and let's try to phase out harsh store-bought chemical products like natural products are in. Let's get our natural shampoos, natural toothpastes, natural body washes. Let's get rid of sodium lauryl sulfate. Anything that has that foaming and that yucky fruity smell, let's just get that stuff out of our lives. We don't need it. We're better off without it. Yeah. And that's pretty much my summer update for you guys. I want to start making videos. I should. I really, I miss talking to you guys, I miss it a lot, it's just so hard to come home after a nine hour day and make a video, I don't have anything to say at that point, I just want to zone out, so yeah, been reading a lot, been crocheting and making stuff with my hands, gardening of course, and feels good, just trying not to lose hope for the farm, trying to stay excited and talking about it of course helps. I just, I want the farm so badly. It's, it's hard to work for someone else doing something that you're not totally impassioned about. What I really want is to work with plants and animals and with the earth and try to do conservation work and educational work and self-sustainability is important to me and I'm not at that spot yet and it's hard, but I'm getting closer Every time I put money in the bank, I'm getting closer. Every time I write something on homesteading, I'm getting closer. Every time I post a video here, I'm getting closer. So, yeah. Here's to pursuing your dream, staying motivated, and not giving up. It was a really long video, but it's been so long. I missed you guys. I'm sorry. It was just, uh, what is that, eight minutes? <laughs> Well, to those of you who stuck it out, thank you. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully.